Hello everyone, this is the Spiritual Lady, and today we're going to discuss curses. What happened many, many years ago was devastating to me. I didn't know at the time that there was a curse in the town where I lived. This is my true story. My family moved into our house and our mo my mom and dad were so excited. This was their first house. I was 10 years old and my brother was five. No one in our family knew about a curse. Anyway, my parents do not believe in curses. We had many happy family memories in this old house. Life was good to us for many years. The problem is that I did not feel comfortable in the house or the town. I sensed the spiritual darkness and never told anyone. After all, who would believe me? One day I did tell my mom, Mom, we need to move. If we don't move, something bad will happen. My mom answered, Connie, you're just being silly. I noticed there were height measurements on the baseboard of my parents' bedroom. I knew the measurements were from a child that previously lived in the house. It bothered me that the measurements were never painted over. A friend told me one day that the child that pre previously lived in the house died. I stopped the conversation because I did not want to know anymore. As a teenager, I drove out of Downers Grove to do teenage things. I always felt better when not in that town. When it was time to attend college, I wanted as far as I could get from Downers Grove. One day, the police knocked on our door. I was 22 years old. One morning, the police told us that my brother was hit by a car. One week later, my brother Len passed away. This was devastating for my family. One month later, we moved to another city. Now I live in Arizona. I was watching Netflix searching for a movie, and I found the movie The Curse of Downers Grove. That did not surprise me. But I wondered, what was the curse? After I watched the movie, I learned the curse is that one high school senior would die before they graduated. My brother was 17, one month from graduation. The Beachwood Reporter had a quote in, from the author of the book, The Curse of Downers Grove. I saw more people die in high school than the rest of my life, Michael Hornberg, author of The Curse of Downers Grove. A Downers Grove High School graduate tells Daily Herald, one kid died in a car crash, she said, one kid died in a quarry. The girl that sat next to me in typing class, she was kidnapped on the outside of an arcade and found her murdered inside a garbage rag in the city of Lyle. So there was a lot of murder and mayhem and people were getting killed on a scale I had never experienced again. Now I have two suggestions. If you're driving and see a sign, Downers Grove, Illinois, keep driving. Do not dislike or dismiss spiritual feelings when a child tells you something that does not feel right. The children are usually much more spiritual than adults. Many people will say that my brother made a mistake, nothing to do with the curse. I graduated from Downers Grove North High School and agree with the fellow graduate, Mr. Hornberg, that the curse of Downers Grove is real. There are more videos coming about demons, curses, and exorcism. So please subscribe, and uh, I'm hoping to, that you'll come back soon. Thank you.